Right, this is the main leader right here. Get out of the way! Keep it tight, keep it tight! Yo! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! How much are people getting paid to be here? Two sets got shot in! Up is free! He's got spit on. Tens of thousands of protesters gathered in Chicago to disrupt the DNC. But this video is not about the DNC, it's actually about how many of these protesters were not protesters, but they were actually paid protesters. Many of the people you will see in this video are innocent protesters supporting the cause they believe in, but many of them have been paid to cause chaos and disrupt the United States. In this video, I will take you into these protest organizations and show you how these protests work, connecting the dots for you, and I will also be attacked and chased out multiple times for asking too many questions. This is going to be fun, let's start at the buses that bring these protesters into the city. And they are all arriving on these buses. They are not just protesters, they are paid protesters by people like George Soros or countries even such as countries like Iran and Iraq are giving money to these groups of protesters here inside the United States to cause havoc here inside the city of Chicago. Regardless, it is actually crazy that there are paid protesters here in America to cause havoc inside the country of America. And just to show you how expensive this costs just a city, just alone, all these bikes right here there's probably upwards of 200 bikes right here are all police officers. And if you think that each police officer is at least getting paid 25 bucks an hour, that's thousands of dollars per hour the city of Chicago is having to pay just because of all these paid protesters. And now we are going into where all these protesters are at. We're gonna start talking to them. A large majority of these protesters don't even know why they are protesting. So we're gonna go in, see what's going on, ask these guys why they're protesting, if they even know why they're protesting. And then we're gonna try to figure out how much money they're getting paid to protest. What group are you guys with? Palestine Solidarity. Palestine Solidarity. We're out of Michigan. Out of Michigan. So you guys drove all the way in from Michigan? We took a bus. Took a bus. We've heard that there's like groups that fund it. Are you guys funded by you Iran with? or like Are other countries? My name's Nick Shirley. And what I'm just a YouTuber. I I can't talk to I'm not I don't know who you are and I don't know. We we have just heard that like some protesters get paid. Is that true that like some okay. of the protesters get paid here? <laughs> have a great day, bye. But do, is it true or no? You can leave now. Well, the first one, the first attempt went in. We asked them, everything went good until I asked them how much they got paid and what happened. They told us we can go. They don't want to talk to us, but they are from Michigan. They've been here all day and they were bust in. So they are getting paid something, but they obviously when a price came up, they did not want to tell us. We headed over to the park where the protesters were gathered and the police asked the protesters to evacuate for the night and this happened. You must immediately disperse and leave the immediate vicinity now by taking the following designated and available route. If you remain in this immediate vicinity, you will be in violation of the law and subject to... As the police were giving their orders, this lady came in and started yelling at the police. But this is a public park and we're not doing anything. Have some kind heart and let them just be. They're not doing anything. I want to go home to my kids. They want to go home to their family. Everybody want to go home. This lady is the same lady I met at the first presidential debate in Atlanta, Georgia. And now from Atlanta to Chicago, it's about a 10 hour long car ride. And for her to be the leader at this protest and also be the leader at the protest in Atlanta makes me wonder if this lady is a paid protester. And she also did the exact same thing in Atlanta where she screamed and yelled and tried to get everybody riled up. And the organization here is actually pretty crazy. They got thousands of dollars worth of signs and equipment for any protester that shows up here so they can be a part of the movement. Are you guys paid protesters here or you guys come in? We're not paid protesters. I just got the military about two weeks ago. Okay. And since I've been home, I've seen people on the street, veterans on the street, you know, the cities have changed. Everything has changed. The country's gotten worse. And you've got these kids out here, these people out here. They're, of course, protesting something that is noble, that is important. However, we have a big problem in our nation with mm -hmm. our people and our communities. We have to focus on that before we can focus on anything else. Yeah. It's important to be, you know, uh, care about other people. As a Christian, I believe in that. But at the end of the day, our people are in need. They're in need of support. And if we just abandon them, we'd know better than the politicians that are doing it. Should we put America first and then work on the other stuff after? Of course. Then a large group of protesters moved to Michigan Avenue, a busy street in downtown Chicago. What does MISO mean? It's an abortion. It's abortion. What are you guys dressed up as? I don't want to talk to anyone. Thank you, though. I'm just kidding. So what are you guys pr protesting for? We are medication abortion. I'm the first bill, and this is the rest of the regimen. We're Miffy and the Misotones. Oh, Miffy and the Misotones. That's right. We're a all pill pop group here to spread the good word about medication abortion, about how safe, effective, and legal it is all over this country. So you guys are pro-abortion? Naturally. Okay. At what month do you consider abortion to be murder? We said thank you so much. You can move on. I'm like curious. Thank you. Curious. We appreciate like, it. Like, is there, is there? Bye. 
Is there a day? Is there a day in the plan when there's a child that there's considered Let's get the going. After asking a few questions, the protesters eventually got a little angry with me, and one lady even got so mad she got in my face and she spit. We don't need your two cents, cause shoddy up is free! At what point we don't is abortion? Need your two cents, cause shoddy up is free! She got spit on. Two cents, cause shoddy up is free! Yeah, I'm just, I, I'm just asking you, cause you guys are here with We're the protest We're here promoting on. this medication abortion. Yeah, and I, I'm, and I have nothing against it. Asking an aggro question. I think that sucks. Yeah. That I, have, I have nothing against you guys protesting. I'm just asking Why? you a question. No, let like, me is, ask is you there a question. A and after asking a few questions, the leader of this protest who is promoting this pill decided to kick me out and a man came after me and tried to hit me with a sign. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you uh, getting in front of a woman? I, did, I didn't know who that was. But still, regardless, what treat are you a woman doing getting up in front of other people's mouth? I'm asking them questions. What questions? I asked them, at what point do they consider abortion not to be right? Because I'm you? actually curious. Why? Because they're, Why? they're promoting abortion pills. Are they? So I'm asking, at what point is abortion not right? I think they answered your question by telling you to f*** yourself. Really? Yeah, right? I think you should. And because one protest was not enough, the next day thousands of protesters were then bussed into the city of Chicago, as you can see here on this flyer. And this is just a warm up compared to the riots at the end of this video. I'm not joking when I say these protests are planned and organized by outside groups as they have literally bussed in people here just to try to cause chaos. And I don't know why, maybe it's to try to disrupt what's going on here in the United States. And we're gonna start talking to some of these people about as far as why they come here. Do you believe that any of these protesters here are getting paid? This is absolutely not true. You know, I mean, it depends. People are coming in from all over. People are coming in from other states as well. So it's kind of hard to gauge like a specific distance for you. So what do the green hats mean? Sorry, so we're with the, we can't talk to the press or National Lawyers Guild Legal Observers. And what do you guys do here at these protests? We can't talk to the press. Yeah, we can't talk to the press. Dang. Uh, who's funding you guys then? All right, so I'm going to ask you to step away from me, please. And remember these people in the green hats because they become very important towards the end of this video. Do you believe that any of these protesters that are here are getting paid to be here? So, as a journalist, I broke a story in 2014 called Crowds on Demand. A guy named Adam Swart uh, used to um, hire people to go flood people and treat them like celebrities. But he ended up transitioning to political events where you can hire crowds on demand to come out and support political activists. I can't say that I know or believe that there are any um, people being paid to be here, but I would say that uh, with an event like the DNC and uh, a city like Chicago that this that is this large, there's a good chance that this is a very organic crowd, if that makes sense to you. Okay. But do you believe that any of these, we've heard a lot of these people are coming in from states all around the country. We've right. seen some people from this, uh, this protest that were at protest in Georgia. So it makes sense that it, it, it could be, it very well could be that a lot of these people are being bussed in from other states just to cause havoc here. Do you believe that to be true? Well, I mean, that happens uh, just about everywhere. The protesters have now finished all their speeches at the park and they're heading down this road in just a few moments. I cannot emphasize how organized all this is. That street was once blocked. Now the street signs have been moved and the protesters are going to be coming down the street in just a few moments. Go! And now all the protesters Go! have arrived. Go! And these protesters have their own escorts as they are here with these people that are called marshals that escort them through the entire streets here inside Chicago for this protest. And if you are not media, we need you behind the banners. Please, please we back up. Please back up. What does it mean to be a marshal? Uh, we marshal, no. What, what's the difference between a marshal and a police officer? I can't hear you good. These marshals have no right to tell me what I gotta do here. So who does that when they come through and they break down the fences? Is that instigators or is that? Whoever, whoever's ignorant. Do you think those people are paid protesters? Yeah. Oh yeah, 100%. Just to make us look bad. You know what I'm saying? We came here to put a voice out to the world. Yeah. We're not trying to do nothing bad. And why do you think those other people would be paid to come to these places and, and cause disruption? So, uh, to make us look bad. So who pays for those people to come here and cause chaos? Hey, who knows? Government. So you think U.S. government pays for them to come 100%. here? 100%. Where do you think your taxes go? Where do you think your taxes go? But you don't think it's like countries like Iraq or Iran to cause nah, stuff? Nah, they're with us. Iraq and Iran's with us. You live right here, and how sick of you are? How sick man, of you are you? I'm sick, man. I put my dog on a porch this morning. My dog was gone. 
so they stole my dog, man. These guys stole your dog? Yeah, so one of my, uh, I spent 10K on a, 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 a English bulldog and, and a bully, and I put it outside and put it in, and the, the dog was gone. When these people come through here, are they peaceful, or do they cause havoc? Man, they're causing chaos, they're causing problems, you see what they're doing. They are just screaming non-stop, providing no solutions to anything. Do you believe these people even have any solutions besides stop? Nah, they just came here to do chaos. That's what they, they're doing right here. You're gonna see what they're about to do. They're gonna start fucking saluting and breaking stuff right now. What's the point of the mask? International law. Well, to spread the message. And a lot of people tend to look at something twice when there's art behind it. Why do you think other people come here with masks? You got a decorated mask. Why do you think so many people come masked here? Because there's something called the Canary Mission set up by Zionists where they take pictures of people and then they put them on a website and blacklist them from getting jobs or future opportunities. Yes, that's why a lot of people come here in masks. Yeah. And what's your guys' message of Joe Biden, Kamal Harris? That they got a... But they're spending billions of dollars all the way over there when their own people, American taxpayers, could be using that same people and ending poverty, feeding the homeless, and paying for schools and a bunch of more things instead of killing kids all the way and bombing hospitals and stuff like that. There's way better use for the money. I went back down to the protest and one of the organizers all of a sudden started yelling at me for getting too close to the main people. Yes. Let me see your footage. yellow vest and how do they have any sort of authority? Marshals. But those, so those marshals are just people for the organizations? Yep. They're the organized volunteers. Yep. Okay, but they have that's no... Says, that's why it says marshal. But they have no authority. They, they're supposed to control their uh, their group. I have now identified the leader of this protest right here. I'm going to go talk to him. How much are people getting paid to be here? Me? Nothing? Are, are, there any, are there any paid protesters here? Are there any? Paid protesters. Absolutely not. No? Are you no. serious? That's just what we heard on the news. We are here from Palestine, 100%. Okay. People took off of work, took off of school. They closed their businesses in Illinois and in the Chicagoland area just to come out today and protest for Palestine. So no paid protesters? Absolutely not. Now, I would like to believe that these organizations and these protests are not funded by outside sources or planned from outside organizations. However, what I'm about to show you here at these riots, I think will prove otherwise. Wait, how do I get in if I want to get in? You can't. If you're pressed, you set the fuck back. Oh, I'm not pressed. Yeah, I'm here to support. Not with that camera. What's wrong with the camera? Yeah, you're putting people's faces on it. Hey, no media, right? Hey, I'm setting a boundary. You have to respect that. You can't come into this space with that camera. Wait, I didn't even do anything though. Okay, I'll go to a different spot, I guess. Ignore this guy. Wait, I didn't even ask any questions. Wait, are we gonna try to go inside the building? They're locked. We're not talking to press. We're not talking to press. I'm trying to join you guys, but are we trying to go in or no? I'm claustrophobic. Can you please stop? Okay, step out. Wait, like, I just want to know if we're going to go inside or not. Are you here with us? I'll go with you guys. Are uh -huh. we going to go in or not? Step out. I'm trying to figure out if we're going to go inside this building or not. Hey, what's the gas mask for? No media, sorry. No media? What do we hope to accomplish with this protest today? I'm not talking. Right now we have a line between the police and the Palestinian protesters. And here is a circle, and this is where all hell is going to break loose, right here. We got the riot squad that has just pulled in. The riot squad has pulled in. I'm not trying to get hit by one of these guys. I back the blue, I back the blue. We got the chief police officer right here, and the leaders of the Palestinian protest. They're trying to make a peace agreement as to where they can march to. And it looks like the protesters are not cooperating. And remember these guys in the green hats? Well, they also showed up to this protest. These guys in the green hats right here, they're taking notes as to the timestamps and to, as to what is happening. So that way, when they have to bail somebody out, they can bail them out. 
and these guys in the green hats, they take notes as to what's happening each moment inside the protest, so that way they can bail out the protesters after they have been arrested. The protesters, and now everyone's trying to fight against the police right now. And notice how instead of listening to the commands of the police officers, the protesters fight back. And then when the police officers try to arrest them for not complying, they run away. The whole world is watching! The whole world is watching! What are they watching? They're watching the police state come down on a public, on a protest. They're watching police oppression happen right here, right now in Chicago. Repeat of 1968. If you turn away from your sin and call on Jesus Christ, what do you think about all these protesters out here? Are they in the right or are they, or are they in the wrong? <laughs> Everyone's in the wrong, bro. We've all we've all sinned and fall short of the glory of God, brother. The other side of the protest, there are Americans and people from Israel. There's an Israeli protest here on the other side. And it is a lot more peaceful, a lot more calm, I will say. There's not as many people. The police are still here, yet there is a lot more peace on this side. And what do you think about all the protesters there on the other side that are causing and pushing against the police and causing a lot of chaos over there? Um, I think it's silly that they're standing outside an empty building that's well protected and screaming at it right now. Um, I think that, that they don't even know what they're upset about anymore, what they're protesting and who they're protesting against. We want to stop terrorism. We're for human rights. We're for LGBTQ rights. We're for our hostages being released. Uh, we're not for ethnic cleansing, as is being done in a lot of countries in the Middle East currently. And um, I don't think they know what they stand for. Why do you think they are protesting so much? And it seems like a nonstop like, ambush against the police more than anything. Yeah, it's been well funded. Um, this has been coming for 30 years. They've started planning and funding this 30 years ago with the Muslim Brotherhood. You can find court records of funding going towards them, especially here in Chicago, um, back 30 years. Um, so do you think this is countries from the Middle East that are trying to cause, um, that, are, that are trying to disrupt what's going on here in the United States and disrupt the systems and corrupt us a little bit even more here in the America? Yeah, absolutely. I think this is coming from the uh, Islamic Republic of Iran and from Qatar and probably also a bit from Russia as well. There's a lot of Marxist, socialist rhetoric that's coming out of this. And why do you think those other countries like uh, Iraq and Iran would want to destabilize the United States? I mean, they've stated that they want to bring down the West. They want to bring down democracy. They want to bring down Western culture. They've stated they want to bring everybody under Sharia law. Um, we don't want that. We want to be free people. We believe in our democracy and our freedoms. So I just saw you got in a little altercation with some of these people out here. He's told these cops that they're f***ing jagoffs, all right? I was out here just to be peaceful, and this guy is talking sh to our police. No, f*** him. What are you yelling at them right now? Wake up that they are being sheep, that they look exactly like the Israeli military. They look exactly like those who kill me in at home and kill me here. They are actively actually now a tool of that same Satan entity. The actually, if you take a look, the new Chicago Street Police uniform, that is exactly, that's the exact same uniform and embroidery of the IDF and Israeli police. What's the IDF? the Israeli Defense Forces, which is a ploy for Israeli offense and colonial forces. And this is the same protester that caused chaos at the other protest. A little interesting, they got lighter fuel right there on the speaker. I think all hell is going to break loose pretty soon. They then used that lighter fuel to light the American flag on fire. The people responsible for having a f***ing party in this city. The only acceptable American flag is one that's 
And now notice how the leaders of this protest each have masks on as they are too afraid to show their own face. But rather their job is to organize and lead these protesters eventually to go against the police. And now we will move forward as they start their march onto the police officers. And this is where I personally get attacked by one of these protesters. On me, on me, on me. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight, mob up, keep it tight, keep it tight, mob up. Hold it. Yeah, I mean, I'm here, I'm protesting. We're, we're representing our rights as Americans. It's crazy to see them have this much, this much power against something. And now we'll see if they continue all the way to the police. Let's see what happens right now. Streets are for the people. That's you. Just stay peaceful. If they touch us, that way, you guys are in the way. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Keep it tight, keep it tight. What are you guys gonna do? What are you guys gonna do? Keep it tight, keep it tight. Sidewalk. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Right, this is the main leader right here. Get out of the way. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Yo! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Where are you guys marching to? Keep it tight, keep it tight. This is in this country. Go do it right now. You know, she says, I want to be tough on immigrants. Where are you guys marching to? Keep it tight, keep it tight. Don't let the pig grab one of us. Don't let one pig grab one of us. Start some chat. The protesters kept marching and eventually they started pushing with the police officers. And notice how the guy in the ski mask and the megaphone keeps inciting everybody to keep fighting. And then you have the people in the green hats that are trying to get the guys date of birth because they are trying to bail them out as soon as they get arrested. Alright, they just took down the main guy who smacked down my microphone. They just took him down and now he's getting arrested right now. Later, a friend sent me a post on X identifying the protester as one of the main leaders of an organization based in Queens, New York. So what was he doing in Chicago? So now the protesters out here yelling at his numbers you guys and then I he is giving here. them. Shut up! And so they're second. giving out all the numbers Shut so up. they can What? I'm just talking. And uh, so they're giving out all these numbers. Go so these people are taking the notes of the protesters that are now arrested, so that way they can call in and try to bail them out once they are arrested inside the police station. Arrest the terrorists! Good! Shut the f up! Terrorists are those damn police! Yeah. Those are the terrorists! They're the ones who Get killed my husband! Good. You sound like you got something to say. I've got something to say. I want to hear it. My name is Levon. Shut up! Disgusting. Go to hell! You. So what do you think about these protesters getting arrested here at the protest? I think it's a bunch of bullshit. And before my husband died, he would always say, the police and the government are the actual terrorists in this country. So do you and think these protesters should be able to push back at the police officers and receive no repercussions? Depends on what kind of pushback. I didn't see any violence over there. But they also hotboxed them to where they couldn't go anywhere, and then they start grabbing people. That's what they do. Now well, the, we have. Do you think these protesters should know that they're obviously coming here and they know that something's going to happen? And their yeah. whole idea, their whole, the goal is to make their voices no, known, and they've yeah. known that if they, and they have every if they, right to make their voices, if they all have altercations with the police officers, they're most likely going to get arrested, and they're playing that game. Right, it does play right into their hands. This is what they want. They they want to hotbox everybody, and they want to get the opportunity to hurt somebody because they have qualified immunity. And as long as they have qualified immunity and they can sit there like a bunch of chickens and go, oh, I fear for my life. They can get away with whatever the hell they want to do. It's bullshit. It is absolute bullshit. So what should the police do? What should the police do? Yeah, in these situations, what should they the police do? They would need qualified immunity if the police were conducting themselves appropriately in their chosen positions. But because they can't conduct themselves appropriately, appropriately, they are protected by qualified immunity so they can get away with anything. That's bullshit. We need to revamp this entire system. Not only these fools, but the whole system, the government, everything. They're all together. And once again, here are the people in the green hats trying to bell out and trying to get all the information 
from the protesters and notice when I try to ask them what they're doing, they can't speak to me. So what's your guys' job here? I can't talk to you. And now that they have arrested all the main organizers of the protest, it's left here. It's a complete mess. All their, fan, all their banners and all their signs are on the ground. I hope you guys learned a few things about what's actually happening at these protests and how it is actually an organized thing as our people literally there plan to try to bail these people out and they're being paid by other organizations to become protesters. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing, give this video a like, and I will be reading your comments down below. This is Nick, and I will see you next video.